Welcome back to another LAX People Mover update where I'll get some of the bad news out of the way first. Uh, it is delayed once again till December 2025 and also another $200 million over budget. Now, some of the delays I've been reading about in previous reports are concerning some of the Alstom cars that are being built out of Pittsburgh. And they had some supply chain issues for some of the parts building these, as well as some problems as far as I think the doors were leaking water during testing. So they were trying to troubleshoot that and get that going. And I think they have 44 cars that they have to test individually. Pretty interesting reading these reports, like uh, with Alcom trying to find requirements for vandal resistant material on the seats, things like that. I'll go ahead and leave a link below if you want to read more about that. But the good news is it's 97% complete for the entire project, and they are doing some testing with some of the cars on the railways. But let's get you out to LAX for our update. Looks like we still got some no-go zones here on the tarmac. Uh, I think some of the taxi uh, ways will be upgraded. Pedestrian walkway here, East Station. You can see where it's uh, closed off for now, but eventually that'll open back up when this area transitions over to the ITF area and this becomes uh, Concourse Zero. Looks like there's actually a little bit of work going on over here at the, the East Station, which is one of the stations that's um, Mostly complete. And it looks about a 95% complete, if not more. And some more um, things going on adjacent to the station. pedestrian walkway between terminals one and two. Mostly complete um, little panels here and there that are missing. Uh, some exteriors are still missing. But, you know, probably 85, 90% complete maybe. Maybe 80%, I don't know. Central Station, I can spot a few workers doing some uh, minor detail work. Next pedestrian walk between two and three. Uh, same kind of deal here in the corner. Okay, we can see uh, a little bit more exterior work to go. And interior. Yeah. Right, the next Anyone pedestrian walk over by Delta and Terminal. Solicitation at LAX is prohibited. It's mostly complete exterior-wise. I'm actually not worried about several ceiling panels to go, exterior work. Seems like these corner joints here where we're seeing a lot of that exterior missing. And then as we continue past the West Station towards American. Nice little walk across the uh, horseshoe. <laughs> and let's not forget the uh, roadway that will be a new addition as well. This will get you access to the West Station.
a mellow day today, actually. Um, we run up uh, towards the end of spring and the summer. Imagine by June this place is going to be hopping, but today uh, it's pretty uh, mellow. Right, Tom Bradley International Terminal and connecting with the uh, secured walkway. She is starting to look more complete. Stations looking nice. All that glass. Last time I was here, I can't remember seeing any of it. So, thanks to put this up. Only like in a month or a month and a half. I have to say, this looks pretty awesome, and there'd probably be some kind of a backdrop there of advertising, especially, I know, like, for, like, the Olympics and different events, kind of banners that'll be uh, staged back behind this glass. It's looking pretty awesome. Take a look here from up above the secured walkway. Now, below it, there's still um, putting some metal structures in. I think they were doing a lot of like infrastructure work the past few months on concrete, maybe some kind of stabilization. Still some exteriors here. And, uh, we'll have to wait and see how that develops. the West Station, which probably looks about 85% done or so. Still some uh, ceiling panels to go. You can see some uh, and a scissor lift doing something from up above. So we're getting there. You can see the skylights. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. You can see how they give off some nice natural ambient light. Now I see five of the rings that are illuminated. Uh, one of them looks like it's not on. Terminal 4 and 5, American Airlines, this building that was built, I want to say maybe, maybe a year, maybe a little more than a year. Uh, exterior looks really nice and complete, even the, uh, the uh, roof area that has the HVAC and all that, it's, I think it's covered up. Uh, the only thing here is on the side of your uh, mid-century modern here, and then it's kind of 80s architecture, kind of clashing and you can kind of see in between the two buildings. Uh, not sure, I'm not sure uh, they're going to handle this. I know they need to uh, transition the uh, TSA. It's going to uh, move from here to uh, somewhere over in here. Um, but uh, I'm not sure what else they're going to do here exterior-wise, if they're going to change anything on this. Um, it would be nice. It <laughs> just looks a little funny. Maybe some people like it though. I could be wrong. And 
the other side of the West Station. I mean, looks pretty good. Call it good. Just gonna um, see some eventual testing going on, I would imagine, which would be kind of cool in the middle of the horseshoe. See some of the uh, cars coming through on the railway. walkway here that connects to Terminal 4. I think here has a ways to go. You can see some of the lighting. Like some uh, cool rings. And, uh, American Airlines in the building. whole staging area it looks like panels over here by the theme building.